Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So tonight's prom started at Veterans Park in Medford, where the kids had a mocktail hour. That included some food trucks, some live music, um, just giving them a chance to mingle and get to see each other, take some pictures. And from there, they came down to Main Street. When they got here, they were able to walk down a red carpet with parents on either side. Walk 97 was able to announce their names as they walked through. Everybody was able to cheer for them. They, you know, did a little twirl here and there. Uh, from the red carpet, they were able to then enter the theater and go through a long hallway of mirrors. And then through the lobby, they entered Main Street, where there was uh, a DJ set up, um, music was blasting, lights were going, and to really just bring up that atmosphere. Uh, it is rocking out there. I mean, the kids, you, you see the, the smiles on everyone's face, you see everyone. Everyone's got something to do, whether it's, you know, playing cornhole or Jenga or they're dancing and, uh, or on the pedal bikes. I mean, there's something for everybody here tonight, and they are having a great time. Half everybody was so isolated and separated, and this is the first time in such a long time that they're able to come back together, and you see the smiles on their faces and the excitement, and it just, it makes everyone watching so happy for them. Their family helped put this on, the whole community. There are teachers that they're very special to us and we wanted to make sure they knew that before they left us. No one does anything like Patchogue Medford. <laughs> and I don't think Patchogue Medford Brown will ever be the same. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life.